In this video, I'll show you how you can calibrate uh, the sensors, whether it could, could be altimeter, barometer or compass. So you can calibrate all of them. This sensor in Garmin new watches is called ABC. So ABC is altimeter, uh, barometer and compass. So if I go down here, you can see here all the sensors are available or statistics. So down you can press this. And once you go down here, you will see here heart rate sensor is sensing the heart and then heart rate. And then if I go down here, so it is showing altimeter, temperature. And here, if I go down here, in case this, these sensors are not available here, so you can go down uh, at the end and edit this. So while you edit, it will give you all the options which are already available, all the widgets which are already available, all the glances which are available. So you can go up or down to move back or forward. So if you go up, so it will take you the first entry. First entry is tides, uh, last entry is tides. And then you can add any sensor that you want. So you can either create the folder and within, within the folder, you can add multiple uh, application, multiple widgets. So these are, you can see here calories, uh, Garmin coach, golf, these are all the uh, options which are available. Once you add the option, for example, if I add this particular option, so I will select this, I will select calendar, for example, and Garmin coach also, for example. Now, once I'm done, I can move down to done and press this button. And now I can go back here, back here. And if you see here, these sensors are already added so make sure that uh, the glances or the widgets are available so if you see here altimeter as a widget is available and then i added abc also which is altimeter barometer and compass i'll show you that first so if i go here to abc go here and it will show you the altimeter here so currently the altitude is 83 and of course the compass it is automatically showing the campus for campus you don't need to calibrate because it is uh, automatically taking the uh, north northing and southing and depending upon how the campus works so you don't need gps or you don't need uh, the barometer to check the uh, current uh, campus location but in case you want to calibrate altimeter so you will go down here and you will see here this is now altitude so to calibrate the altitude, you will start or stop button you can press and it will show you calibrate. So if you sh uh, calibrate it here, either you can enter the uh, current altitude by yourself. Uh, if uh, you know the location, for example, my altitude right now at this location where I'm sitting right now, it's 82 meters. So I can either enter it manually or I can use the sensor, for example, GPS. So if GPS signals are currently available, so it will automatically detect my current location and based on that location, my altimeter will be updated. Once it is altitude is updated, I will go back here, back here and it will already be measured. So from here also, from altitude also, you can press this and you can go down here in settings and you can see the calibration or calculate it automatically sensor mode is auto and elevation is meter so you can change these sensor mode it is using two sensors so altimeter and barometer so either you can use only altimeter or only barometer uh, but i will recommend you to keep both the sensors on because uh, uh, if altimeter is not able to correctly work uh, barometer will be functioning and it will detect your current altitude so this is the way you can use and then if you go back here, you can go down to the barometer and for the barometer also, you can calibrate it or you can go to settings and it will again show you if you want to see the storm alert or you want to see the uh, pressure. So what is the unit of measurement for pressure? So whether you want to use millibar or you want to use MMGG or whatever uh, calibration unit you want to measure. So this way you can go to altimeter, barometer and then finally compass. So in case you want to only go to compass or you want to only go to barometer or the altimeter which I previously added. So here you can see on top somewhere my uh, altimeter is already available. So you can directly even go from here 
to the altimeter here is altimeter go here and use this and then calibrate so if you see calibrate it will give you the options to calibrate and also you can see the pan chart and you can you can see uh, the chart that shows you uh, what was your altitude in last four hours you can see here uh, right now it's 7 30 p.m and from 6 p.m to 7 30 p.m i have been in this location and it gives me the chart so if you have touch screen so you can see here complete chart from 9 a.m for example here you can see from 1 a.m tuesday till right now so the altimeter keeps changing depending upon where you were moving and this is my current altitude at 750 pm so this way you can calibrate your altimeter to record your run cycling or any other activity if you want to make sure that your altitude or elevation gain is correct so you should first of all calibrate your uh, altimeter and then you can you can start running swimming or cycling so this is the way you can use your garmin watch for various activities various sensors various vi widgets so if you like this video hit the like button click subscribe to subscribe to the channel to see more videos about garmin and fitness uh, tracking uh, systems or fitness applications so see you in next video take care and goodbye